Hey, looking for an easy way to set up WooCommerce Google Analytics so you can track your online store's performance and get insights about your sales, your customers, and your conversions? Well, stick around. That's what we'll be talking about in this video. Now, if you're not tracking your e-commerce store's performance, well, you're just guessing at what your audience really likes. So you might be advertising the wrong product or promoting their deals that customers just really aren't interested in. Setting up analytics for your WooCommerce store can help you to reduce card abandonment, keep an eye on your campaigns, file downloads, track user journeys, and a whole lot more. Now, there are several ways that you can track your WooCommerce store in Google Analytics, but the easiest method by far is by using Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. You can easily connect your WooCommerce site with Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features too, such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and a whole lot more. And it seamlessly integrates with WooCommerce, so you can set up tracking with just a few clicks. You don't have to edit any code, install any tracking codes, learn how to use Tag Manager, or hire a Google Analytics Pro. Just connect Monster Insights to Google Analytics and we'll install the tracking code snippet for you automatically. Sound good? All right, here's how you can get started. Now, the first thing you need to do to set up tracking for your WooCommerce store is just grab Monster Insights at the pro level or above. For a complete tutorial on how to set up Monster Insights, just check out our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, once you've installed Monster Insights, you can just install and activate the e-commerce add-on and start tracking your WooCommerce store's performance. Now, to do that, just head over to the admin sidebar. Then hover your mouse over Insights and then click on Add-ons. All right, now find the e-commerce box and just click Install. Monster Insights will automatically detect and connect with WooCommerce. Now I'll show you how to install the user journey add-on so you can easily see trends in shopping and user behavior, recent sales, campaign performance, and a lot more. With that user journey add-on, you can click into a single user journey to see the exact steps that they took. Now to find the add-on, just go to insights and then the add-ons, just like you did before, and then find that user journey add-on and click install. All right, now to see your online store stats, just go to the admin sidebar, hover over insights, then click on Reports, and then finally to E-commerce, and then to Overview. All right, your new Analytics dashboard shows you your site's conversion rate, transactions, revenue, and average order value for the date that range that you've selected. And you can even do comparisons between dates to see if your store's performance is improving. All right, now just scroll down and you're gonna see the top products and the quantity that was sold, the percentage of sales, and the total revenue. Monster Insights also shows you your top conversion sources. Now, these are the websites that some of your buyers were referred from to your site. You can see how many people came to your site from each source, their overall percentage of visits, the revenue they generated, and a lot more. Now, right at the very bottom, you're gonna see the total add to carts, total remove from cart, new customers, and abandoned checkouts. Now, let's look at the funnel report. Just head back up to the e-commerce tab and then click funnel. With this report, you can see the abandonment rate of your purchase funnel, how many users move from viewing items to adding them to their cart to completing the purchase. Now, one more thing here, if you're using coupon codes in your WooCommerce store, you can take a look under the coupons under the e-commerce tab to see which coupon codes were used the most often. Get a full tour of all of Monster Insights Dashboard's reports. You'll want to check out our ultimate guide to Monster Insights Dashboard reports. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, if you'd like to view e-commerce reports in GA4, just log into your account, and then navigate to monetization, and then to overview. Now, here you can see your revenue trend by day, purchases by day, purchases by item name, purchases by item list, and more. To view your sales and revenue data organized by channel, just head over to acquisition, and then to traffic acquisition. Then simply scroll to the right of the table to find conversions and total revenue. Now just click the All Events drop down arrow under Conversions and then click Purchase, where you're going to see the table showing the total purchases and revenue by traffic channel. All right, there you have it. That's how you set up WooCommerce Google Analytics. Now we hope that you found it useful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. 
Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.